You know, what's it like this time last year? You had all your guys go to the draft, uh, and now you got pretty much everybody coming back. So what's that like going into a summer of uh, basically having all those names on, on the roster still? Well, there's still always uncertainty. Last year, there's certainly a lot of uncertainty where we lost. Uh, we had lost Jordan Morgan and then the three guys to the NBA. Um, so now the uncertainty is, all right, how far have we developed? What are we going to do from here? Um, love the people we have coming back. Uh, but it, again, you know, it's still a sting of a season that was not typical of the way we've been playing. And there's a lot of reasons for that. Um, and uh, we're excited about getting back to where we should be. How about uh, Spike? Everybody knows the, the surgery. Yeah, he's gone. yeah. How's he coming along with yeah, he's really doing well. He's off crutches. He is. He's moving around uh, normally. You wouldn't know there's anything wrong with him, but he's still a couple months away from uh, probably not till September will he really be able to push himself. Uh, I read an article a few days ago about how uh, you, you seem higher on the Big Ten Conference than maybe ever with right. uh, obviously Michigan State, yeah, Colorado, yeah. Wisconsin's always there, Indiana's no. always there. It seems like it's going to be just as tough. A no, I, I think I think two years, two or three years ago, both and probably both years, the league was incredibly strong, and then we lost a lot of guys to the NBA. Uh, we did, you know, several teams did, or there were a lot of really good seniors, uh, and now I think. Uh, last year was sort of a, a maybe just a little re, of a rebuilding, reconstruction with some of our teams. Now there's there's like seven or eight, nine teams that could go to the NCAA tournament. So out of 14, that's really strong. And I don't forget we've had Nebraska and Maryland over that time, and the, the, those two teams are good. And but the the the, net, the normal standards, the Ohio States, the Michigans, the Michigan States, the Indianas, Purdue, right? The ones that were really good when I came in, Wisconsin, they're not going away. And, and so uh, they're always going to be there, and uh, we just got to keep working to stay up to the top of the Big Ten. Uh, the final question I have for you up here, the, the story of Austin Hatch uh, going to play for you guys yeah. is, is known by everybody with the, the second yeah. plane crash in Charlevoix. Yeah. So everybody in northern Michigan is aware of that story. What's it been like to see his progress in Ann Arbor and to see the kind of man he's become on and off the court? Well, this is, this is we, we've seen him grow in a lot of ways, and now that he is – He's going to focus more on uh, his academics. He's going to focus more on community service and helping us in other ways, almost as a student assistant. I've seen him really flourish uh, because there is this, there's certain reality to his injuries that it, it's tough to get through. And now that he's sort of passed that on and going on to the next stage of his life, he's been so rewarding to all of us. And uh, the love that we have for him and, and he has for his teammates is incredible. And... Uh, I feel like I've had three sons. I feel like I have a fourth here, and we, we Kathleen and I love every minute of it. So um, he's going to have a tremendous impact overall when he's done at Michigan with the athletic program, the university, and particular basketball. Getting to do events like this, yeah. especially up here in Traverse yeah. City, you know, how, how's it great is it for you and your position as head coach? Well, I think that every year we've had an invitation to come up here, but it is from Ann Arbor. It's a it's a four hour drive, and it's a it's not something that's easy to do sometimes. But uh, I happen to love this area so much that I did. Uh, we did build a home, uh, a, a vacation home over in Petoskey. Really? Yeah. That's so uh, this was easy. This was a, hour, a little bit over an hour. So uh, hopefully, from time to time, I can make it over here as well more more often because I love this area of the country. I grew up on a fruit farm with cherries and peaches and the whole deal. <laughs> so I'm jealous of anybody who lives up there in this area, especially in July. And you were the QB coach for a few years there, right? Yes, I coached, uh, in fact, as I coached. Jimbo was there? I coached Harbaugh, <laughs> yeah, so. So what was that like, him as a player? Give me those early impressions. Well, of his young 20s, late teens. he was one of the most, uh, uh, probably the most competitive athlete I've ever been around. He just wanted to win in everything that he did and he would do anything he thought would help to do that. Now that was a blessing in some ways, but also he couldn't stand other people not being quite like him, and so they, you had to tone him down a little bit to make sure that uh, the other kids didn't. Uh, uh, we talked about the fact that he used to holler at the kids when he'd throw the ball over their head, and I finally had to sit him down and say, Who's the quarterback? He said, I am. And I said, who's the coach? He said, you are. I said, and I'll coach and you throw the ball. And so when we, when he finally got that all straightened out, we became very, very close. And I'm assuming you've seen him since he's been officially announced. As oh, yes. Manager. Yeah. So I've what have those conversations, interactions been like now that he's the man in charge? Well, uh, 
he, he still asks me my opinion on a certain thing, but I don't know whether he listens. And I, somebody said, "Wouldn't you quit coaching?" I said, "I've never quit coaching. They just quit listening." And so uh, it's it's uh, I I'm not going to stick my nose in down there. He knows what he's doing. He's had a lot of good experience here. He's got good coaches worth it, working with him. So I'm just going to be around there to be a a resource if they need me event for anything I certainly will help them but I expect Jimmy and his staff to turn things around and don't expect miracles the first year it's going to be that he's got to get the players in there that he feels really comfortable with and then we'll see what happens I get on him I said you haven't won a game yet so don't tell me how good you well, are we left.